Before we move on to the recap, we'd like to give a quick shout out to some of our watcher comments. You motivate us to do more, we love you guys. The film begins in 2074, revealing a futuristic metropolis illuminated by vibrant neon lights, dominated by cybernetics corporations. Inside the pinwheel robotics facility, scientists are engaged in the development of advanced cyborg models, surrounded by android components, electronic circuits, and liquid-filled chambers. Among them lies Cash, an impressive female cyborg prototype, dormant within a glass enclosure with artificial skin and closed eyes. Dr. Dunn, the CEO of Pinwheel, oversees Cash's activation, highlighting her uniqueness due to carrying a powerful liquid explosive called Glass Shadow. He expresses to his team the significance of this experiment, emphasizing its potential to propel the company forward. As Dr. Dunn receives applause from the board members, the focus shifts to Cash, the pivotal prototype in this narrative. Cash engages in a karate session with her instructor, Colton, as fellow prototypes observe. It becomes evident that Cash possesses superior skills compared to Colton, effortlessly overpowering him during their sparring match. Subsequently, she gains the upper hand, pinning him to the ground and questions him about her missing roommate's whereabouts. Expressing concern, Cash seeks information from Colton, who reassures her of his lack of knowledge regarding the situation. During the evening, as Colton traverses the hallway, he notices Dr. Dunn escorting Cash to a particular destination. Curious, Colton inquires about their destination, but Dr. Dunn dismisses his question with a brusque reply, asserting that it's not Colton's concern. Unfazed by the doctor's rudeness, Colton shrugs off the encounter and continues on his way. In a subsequent scene, Cash reclines on her bed, listening to an audio message from a man identified as Mercy. His image is obscured, revealing only a portion of his face on the screen. Mercy describes Cash as the most exceptional among all the prototypes, emphasizing her proximity to human interaction. He suggests that she seeks a human companion, and Cash reacts with evident happiness and anticipation to his proposition. Shortly afterward, Cash coincidentally encounters Colton, and it becomes evident that she is contemplating him as her potential human lover. Upon returning to his room, Colton is surprised to find Mercy appearing on the screen. Perplexed by Mercy's sudden appearance, Colton queries him about his identity. However, Mercy dismisses Colton's question and redirects the conversation toward the matches he received from Cash. Suspicious of Mercy's intentions, Colton watches as Mercy vanishes from the screen, leaving him intrigued. Later, Colton opens the pack of matches to discover an insect and a concealed message within. The two ventures into a section of the facility where Pinwheel stores deceased prototypes in a cryogenic state. Here, Cash discovers her nearly lifeless roommate, who reveals the sinister plot to eliminate her and Cash next. Simultaneously, Mercy appears on the screen, warning Cash of the imminent threat. Pinwheel intends to exploit Cash as a suicide bomber to eliminate the Kobayashi Board of Directors, mentioning a dormant liquid crystal glass within her body awaiting activation. Shocked by this revelation, Cash and Colton are given a mere five seconds to evade the danger. As a siren blares, alerting Pinwheel of Cash's disappearance, they flee while being pursued by the corporation's authorities. Racing through underground pipelines, they encounter armed adversaries. Utilizing her extensive training, Cash engages in combat, successfully fending off their assailants. Colton stands in awe of Cash's impressive abilities, as they successfully evade their pursuers. However, their escape is short-lived as they become trapped in an elevator midway. Surrounded by armed men, they come under fire with Colton sustaining a minor gunshot wound in the chaos. Despite the danger, Cash remains composed and begins searching for an escape route from the immobilized elevator. Together, they descend using the elevator ropes in search of safety. As they navigate their way down, a fierce firefight erupts between the pinwheel armed forces and another woman who appears to be pursuing them as well. The scene transitions to Cash and Colton who successfully reach the exterior. Racing across the rooftop, they hastily scale a fence. Curious about their surroundings, Cash queries Colton about his familiarity with the city, to which Colton admits it's been some time. Suddenly, Mercy appears on a nearby screen, attempting to communicate with them. However, Cash abruptly begins to experience glitches and choking, her behavior becoming erratic. She informs Colton that she has been activated and behaves erratically. Mercy enlightens Colton, explaining that a tracking device is responsible for her sudden change in behavior. Pinwheel aims to conceal the presence of the glass shadow within her, advising Colton to procure a vehicle and maintain a low profile for at least nine hours. Mercy emphasizes the urgency of their situation. Returning to the pinwheel facility, Dr. Dunn is visibly distressed by Cash's sudden disappearance. Seeking refuge in his office, he encounters a woman named Chen, who had been in pursuit of Cash and Colton. Chen, revealed to be another prototype but of a more advanced nature, harbors her own agenda involving Cash's reprogramming, eliminating Colton and subduing Cash for their own purposes. Following Cash's escape, Dr. Dunn convenes with the board, attributing her departure to her utilization of human-like reasoning. 
However, the board remains skeptical and holds Dr. Dunn accountable for any potential failure of the Glass Shadow Project. In response, Dr. Dunn proposes hiring an individual well-versed in dealing with cyborgs to apprehend Cash and Colton, suggesting a man named Master Daniel Bench. The scene transitions to Master Daniel, attending to his prosthetic face before receiving a call from Dr. Dunn. Upon learning the substantial compensation involved, Master Daniel agrees to the task. Meanwhile, Cash and Colton arrive in the city, opting to separate to minimize their chances of capture. Cash ventures out alone and visits a fortune teller to seek insights into her lifespan. The fortune teller and her associate quickly recognize Cash's true nature as a cyborg. In a tense confrontation, Cash combats the fortune teller and her associate, managing to break free and flee. Meanwhile, Colton encounters Daniel on the street who demands information about Cash's whereabouts. Refusing to comply, Colton becomes Daniel's hostage. As tensions escalate, Daniel fatally confronts another individual. The narrative shifts to Cash's search for Colton, during which she becomes the target of Chen, a cyborg woman intent on manipulating her. Chen ensnares Cash, suspending her from a building and inflicting harm upon her. Cash struggles against her assailant's assaults, enduring a harrowing ordeal. Elsewhere, Daniel holds Colton captive, subjecting him to restraints. Daniel, characterized by his eccentricity and obsession with his appearance, choruses Colton for information regarding Cash. When Colton professes ignorance, Daniel administers a chemical substance into Colton's eyes, purportedly granting him heightened perception. Daniel explains that it is a crystal-based liquid designed to affect Colton's corpus callosum gradually, inducing a state of desperation. Meanwhile, Cash lies unconscious, undergoing a reprogramming procedure administered by Chen. Chen informs Cash of the explosive device implanted within her, even activating it briefly to demonstrate its potency. Desperate, Cash pleads for mercy, prompting Chen to disarm the explosive and release her. The narrative returns to Daniel and Colton, where Daniel feigns sleep, allowing Colton to liberate himself using the keys to his restraints. Intent on locating Cash, Colton is taken aback when Daniel reveals his ruse, having anticipated Colton's escape attempt. Meanwhile, Cash seeks solace in a museum, captivated by the exhibits until Colton unexpectedly appears. Overjoyed, Cash rushes to embrace him and they engage in heartfelt conversation. Colton shares the harsh realities of the world, evoking horror and Cash at the potential for human cruelty. However, Colton reassures her of the existence of goodness amidst the darkness, their dialogue evolving into a tender kiss. Their intimate moment is abruptly interrupted by Chen's arrival, who attempts to eliminate Colton. Just in time, Daniel intervenes, sparking a fierce altercation between himself and Chen, hinting at a tumultuous history between the two adversaries. In the chaos, Chen shoots a mirror, causing shards to damage Daniel's prosthetic face, triggering his fury. Seizing the opportunity, Colton and Cash make a break for it, but Chen relentlessly pursues them. As Cash confronts Chen, Daniel, consumed by rage, fires his weapon recklessly. Colt joins Cash in her struggle against Chen, culminating in Cash electrocuting Chen, resulting in her demise. Before Daniel can intervene, Colton and Cash escape. Seeking refuge, they enter an underground tunnel where they encounter a man. Cash informs him of their connection to Mercy, earning them entry. Although the place appears deserted, it is revealed to be a community organized by Mercy, who communicates with them via screen. Mercy outlines their plan to escape to Mombasa by renting a boat. However, Colt expresses apprehension due to potential legal consequences. Meanwhile, Daniel is seen driving recklessly, his actions hinting at his mounting desperation and instability. Having descended into complete chaos, Daniel spirals out of control, indulging in a cocktail of drugs while vowing vengeance against Colt and Cash, who he blames for his disfigured face. Meanwhile, Colt receives medical attention from a doctor who extracts a poisonous crystal from his eye. That evening, Mercy engages in a heartfelt conversation with Colt about love, leading to a night of profound intimacy and passion shared between Colt and Cash. Shortly thereafter, Mercy finds himself in solitary confinement as Pinwheel dispatches armed forces to apprehend Colt and Cash. Despite the looming threat, Mercy remains steadfast, guiding the duo through their escape plan and directing them to their appointed escort. However, unbeknownst to them, their escort is under Daniel's influence, posing a grave danger to their safety. Before they can proceed, Colt is compelled to engage in a confrontation, pitted against none other than Daniel himself. Initially gaining the upper hand, Colt inflicts severe injuries upon Daniel. However, their skirmish is interrupted by the arrival of Pinwheel's men, escalating into a brutal and bloody battle as the fight resumes with renewed ferocity. In the climactic showdown, Daniel, realizing he's no match for Colt's prowess, resorts to cheating by employing a ring with a concealed blade. Relentlessly assaulting Colt, he inflicts severe injuries. 
Cash is torn between intervening and risking Colt's disqualification, warned by their escort about potential consequences. Despite her hesitation, Colt manages to gain the upper hand, seizing Daniel's weaponized hand and forcing it into a ventilator. The force causes Daniel's decapitation, resulting in Colt's victory. However, their triumph is short-lived as armed men from Pinwheel descend upon the scene, sparking chaos. Colt and Cash fiercely combat their assailants, taking down several before becoming overwhelmed. Despite their outnumbered state, Cash defiantly brandishes a rifle at their pursuers. Just as surrender seems imminent, a screen descends from one of the vehicles, revealing mercy. He congratulates the duo and warns the Pinwheel men of an impending bomb threat. The explosion disrupts their ranks, allowing Mercy to appear and swiftly neutralize the remaining threats with his firepower. In the aftermath, Cash and Colt successfully evade their pursuers, while the remaining pinwheel men apprehend Mercy, taking him to their headquarters. Their doctor, Dunn, leisurely playing golf, confronts Mercy, revealing he still possesses the activation button for the explosive within Cash's body. Unbeknownst to Dunn, Mercy has manipulated the system, causing Dunn to inadvertently trigger a bomb that obliterates the pinwheel institution. The narrative then fast-forwards to a later time, where Cash and Colt have found solace in a tranquil desert, living a peaceful existence far from the turmoil of their past. As years pass, Colt ages naturally while Cash, being a cyborg, remains perpetually youthful and beautiful. With this serene conclusion, the movie comes to a close, leaving the characters to enjoy their newfound tranquility. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos.